Let's say you're in a horrific accident and you end up being paralyzed from the neck down, but there was an option available where doctors could actually remove your head and put it on another body. Now the question is, would you do it? This sounds like something straight out of Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory, but Italian physician Dr. Sergio Canavero claims he can cut off a person's head and attach it to a healthy body. And get this, this highly controversial procedure could happen as early as next year. The patient of this potential operation is Valery Spiridonov, a 30-year-old computer scientist from Russia and a lifelong sufferer of the rare genetic wardnik huffman muscle wasting disease. Valery contacted the controversial doctor who is based at the University of Turin in Italy after reading about his ambitious medical claims. Valery said he offered himself to the doctor to make this operation Operation possible. The two have never met, but have been communicating via email and Skype. Valerie said he sees this procedure as one of the few choices he has to stay alive. He said, if I don't try this chance, my fate will be very sad. With every year, my state is getting worse. I can hardly control my body now. I need help every day, every minute. I am now 30 years old, although people rarely live to more than 20 with this disease. With his condition worsening each day, Valerie is desperate for the technique to work and said his family fully support his decision to be the first human to undergo such a surgery. Dr. Canavero has named the head transplant procedure HEAVEN, which is an acronym for Head Anastomosis Venture. Anastomosis involves the surgical connecting of two parts. He insists all the necessary techniques already exist to transplant a head onto a donor body. The cost of the 36-hour operation, which could only be performed in one of the world's most advanced operating theaters, has been estimated at $11.1 million, which Dr. Canavero has yet to secure. Part of the funding will be to hire the necessary 150 doctors and nurses Dr. Canavero believes are required to complete the procedure. The new body would come from a transplant donor who is brain dead but otherwise healthy. Both donor and patient would have their head severed from their spinal cord at the same time using an ultra sharp blade to give a clean cut. Then this horror film-esque procedure would continue when the patient's head would be removed from his body and uh, placed onto the donor's body and attached using what Dr. Canavero calls his magic ingredient, a glue-like substance called polyethylene glyco. Then the muscles and blood supply would be stitched up before the patient is put into a coma for four weeks to stop them from moving while the head and uh, body heals together. When they wake, the patient should be able to move, feel their face, and even speak with the same voice. Then powerful immunosuppressant drugs should stop the new body from being rejected. But critics say Dr. Canavero's plans are pure fantasy and that he has simplified the difficulties involved in reattaching a spinal cord. Here's the thing. Let's go back to my original question from the beginning of this video. Let's say this procedure uh, does work and say you were paralyzed and uh, from the neck down, would you want this procedure done to you? I think personally, I would have a real tough time spending the rest of my life in somebody else's body. Granted, I don't know what it's like to be paralyzed or have a disease that basically renders my body useless. I could only imagine if I was in that situation and this was my only option, maybe it won't be as cut and dry as I'm thinking right now. But I really do think the whole psychological aspect of this would deter me from this operation. I do feel if this procedure does work, there'll be a lot of people from around the world that would want this. But this whole procedure just seems really disturbing to me. Also, I think if this procedure does work and eventually advances to the point where people could gain full functionality of a new body, this could really lead to some potentially crazy situations. For example, there's already huge organ trades going on illegally all around the world. So what's stopping someone from, let's say, taking someone off the street that has a healthy body and selling them to maybe somebody who needs a new body? And this could even get crazier from people needing a procedure like this for medical reasons and crossing the line to cosmetic ones. Let's say someone wants to be taller where they really have trouble losing weight and they want a fitter body. Could these now be the reason people go and get this procedure? Could it be possible one day people could just go into like a body market and just purchase whatever body they want and attach it to their head? I'm not saying it's definitely gonna get to that point, but I don't know, who knows? Like I said, this whole thing is just super disturbing to me. Actually, when I first saw this report, it reminded me of an episode of Lewis and Clark, The Adventures of Superman. 
I don't know if you guys remember this, but there was an episode where uh, the villain was going to take Superman's body and, uh, you know, put his head on Superman's body, which actually didn't really make sense to me because, okay, so you have a human head on uh, Superman's body. So let's say you gain all of Superman's powers, but wouldn't it be only limited to like your neck down? So you really wouldn't have like the laser eyes with the super hearing or things like that. And it could really cause some problems. Like think about it. If you have Superman's strength in the rest of your body, except your head, and then let's say you're walking outside and a mosquito lands on your face. I think you know what happens after that. All right, guys, let me know if you would have this procedure done and how you feel about this whole operation. Let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching. See you later.